Hey, what's up, everyone? But we'll continue and welcome back to some more Paladins. Today, we're going to be playing Cassie here. And let's take a quick look at our card. So, we have incitement. Instantly reduces dodge rolls cooldown by 6 seconds if your first weapon attack hits a target after rolling. So, this pretty much gives you an instant dodge roll straight after. Well, not instant. It's like a 2 second cooldown or whatever it is left. And you can just keep rolling. And this actually allows you to get lots of sustain with Onslaught here, which is the next card. So every time we hit someone after the dodge roll, we get 40%, um, 45 percent life steal on them, which we can use to stay alive. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go around the back sides. Oh god, someone's behind us. Okay, let's go this way. She's gonna come around back to us. So let's go up and grip at um, grip with our team. But when they do come around the back, we sort of have some allies to help us here. Uh, push him off. Oh, I'm trying to get the Grok in the back. He's just gonna get away, it looks like. Gonna roll into the corner here. Okay, there we go, got him. So we do get bonus damage after rolling as well. That is a part of the bonus damage on Cassie here. Oh, where's she? Okay, there we go, got her as well. So yeah, if we keep this incitement cooldown reduction up on our dodge roll, we can get lots of damage out. And absolutely dominate the game. Someone's back here. Our team's fighting. I don't know if we should worry about it. I think we just help the Barak and stuff on the point here. Stop him getting the point. Roll inside. Oh, we can't get him, can we? No. Damn. He's gone Ghost Walk as well. That does not help us. Oh, there's someone right here. Bonking at the far side there. Just get a couple of hits on him before we go up here. And where are they? Someone around the corner here. Okay. Knessa's down. Someone's up here. It's an EV. She's a bit high. I think we'll just go with the payload here real quick. And see what we can do. Get him as he comes out. Okay, here we go. We're just going to roll after him. And pick him up. Oh, there's a lot of people up there. Actually, someone's sitting right at the top there. I wonder why. Okay, let's go for this Knesset on the side. We'll move forward. It's a Grok here. Knock him back. Oh, we actually missed him with our first shot there, so we're going to have no cooldowns left to escape from. The three people right there. So yeah, if we do miss a shot, we obviously don't get our dodge roll cooldown back. And then we're going to be in a really bad position. So we need to try and hit those uh, first shots out of the dodge roll. Because yeah, that's where pretty much everything is. It's like the re cooldown reduction, the bonus damage, everything like that. Okay, I wanted to roll out because I was worried we we're going to get stunned there. Uh, we'll get rid of this thing on the roof. And we'll press E to get bonus damage. One more shot. One more shot. One more shot. Oh, ghost walk. Okay, let's pull back. Oh, she's gonna get us, yeah. Damn. We almost got the Grok. A bark is on the point. Ooh. We almost have our all back up again thanks to morale boost. We have morale boost here because we have Fatal Science here. So by having our ult up a lot more, we're basically getting a lot more damage out for us and our team. Roll back for a second here. Where is she going? Oh, I don't know where she's gone. I'm going to try and knock one back. I can't really see where they are, so we're going to be in a lot of trouble here. Reloading. Roll to the side. Oh no, we. Okay, our friend got back on it. I was gonna try and dodge roll back onto the point when the time was getting low, but then we got sniped. Luckily, our friend was able to get it. I don't know if Drogos can make it back over there, can he? Someone needs to make it on it. Oh, damn. No one can make it back on the point. Drogos should have went around the left side instead of through the little cave on the right. 
Okay, so we want to get morale boost, as we said before. We want our ult to be up as much as possible so we can get all that bonus damage. And we probably want to get Haven as well. So yeah, see, the first shot of dodge roll gives 50% extra bonus damage. So we really, really do need to try and get these first shots off if we want to do tons of damage. Otherwise, we're missing out on crazy amounts. Uh, let's go around the left side here. Look the far left side, maybe? Let's see. Oh, jeez, they all ran straight onto the point. Okay. What we can do is just move around this side. Roll. We're only rolling for the bonus damage there, but we missed anyway, so that's always nice. Where'd she blink to? I think she blinked to our right. Okay, we got her. Our friend picked up Bomb King, and... Where is she going? Oh, she's right behind us. No! <laughs> Too much dashing around. Damn, she's gonna get away thanks to Sword there, I think. And she blinked straight after. I'm gonna move on the point, so we can start building up some points. And try and get her as she comes out. Okay, I'm gonna roll off. That way this Kness is just going to kill us off. Oh, we might be able to pick her up. I'm going to actually turn around because there's a Grok on the point here. Get that sky. Oh, we're going to roll away. Don't want to die. Two Groks. Oh, nice snipe there to get him off. Okay, our Drogas is on the point. Where are they? There's an Eevee coming around now. Run along with her. Gonna roll back. Where's she gonna blink? She's gone right. Ooh, we were able to get the hit off on the EV though, so we do have our dodge roll cooldown up. Where's she going? Right side. Got one more hit. There we go, got her. Okay. Looks like we pretty much cleared them all off. We're quite low. One more hit. There we go, got her. And we got the objective. This is good. Okay, I'm gonna move around the backside here. I wanna try and get the Knessa who's here. Yes, we got her as well. This is good. Uh, the Grok here. Got him. Where's the enemy? Can we get this Eevee? Oh, we have to watch out here. This might be really bad for us. No, she blinked away. Okay. I was worried she was going to blink on top of us, which is why I kept walking back. Oh, let's see. We'll activate our ult here. Then we'll roll out. We actually did get hit by the sky ult there, so we're actually very, very low now. That's not good. This bomb king doesn't seem too good, so we'll just be able to pick him up. And we have to see. Oh, damn. We couldn't dodge that snipe. I tried to roll as soon as she started scoping up. But, uh, we didn't get it. I waited a bit because I wanted to wait till she got some power onto her weapon to shoot. Because otherwise, you know, her attack would do no damage and we wouldn't have to roll away from it. And at the same time, Sky popped up behind us. Where are they? Oh god. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, she got us. Damn. I should have rolled right. That was bad. I rolled backwards instead of right. So she was just able to go straight onto us. I thought her blink wouldn't be that far. But it was. Okay, well we have our odd up here. We might be able to use it and get it in here. I want to wait for some of my team to be up here to take advantage of it, though. Okay, we might just have to use it and try and do it ourselves. Uh, where's the Grok? No, keep him back. 
We have to watch out as an Eevee on the side there as well. Gonna roll through. Gotta keep her away from us. We should be able to roll on for the last point. Oh man. So much rolling. Uh, let's see. Let's get Haven. And then we don't really read the need this death's hands here because we're not really reloading too much uh, i think we might just go with life rip or should we go with kill to heal maybe kill to heal would be better we're getting a couple of kills here so it might be the better choice oh but yeah so much rolling in this build but if you have really good accuracy this build is just absolutely crazy it's very hard for the enemy to hit you when you're rolling all over the place and you have a lot of sustain thanks to onslaught here Where are they coming from? They're going straight on the point. Okay, just gonna run straight on. Just gonna walk back a bit. Wait for the shield to go down, roll away. Oh, she, I think she has increased range maybe on that. Yeah, she does, okay. I was wondering why it was so big. We couldn't get out of it. Where's the rest of the enemy team? I think they might have given up. There's one still in the base. So yeah, I think they might have given up or something like that. Let's see. Can we find them? I don't want to walk too far and then they're like they're all flanking us or something. But it looks like they might have given up. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it. They're not coming out of the base anymore. Oh well. Probably would have won anyway. Since we're doing quite well. Where's the Grok? He's just sitting in base now, is he? Let's see if we can get up higher. Come back, Rock. I'm your friend. Oh, he's over this side now. He's just gonna run back and forth. Where is he? Oh, they're all up the top here. Whoa. She's gonna look down, is she? No, she's not. Okay, got her. Can we get Bomb King? And uh, we should win it here. There we go. Not too bad of a game. Early on, I think we had a bit of a rough start, but then we started getting into groove with the rolls and stuff. Yeah, not too bad. We just didn't win most damage to uh, Knessa here. Well, we're actually really close. One kill off, same assist. She did get a bit more solo kills than us. But streak the same and same multi kill. Almost the exact same score. That was really good. So, yeah. Obviously, um. Not the best build to try and play with 300 ping, but it's actually a really, really strong build, especially if you have really good aim. You can just go absolutely insane on it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.